Hello everyone my name is Abudan Sheikh uh, today i am going to discuss about the seismic analysis of a 23rd story rc building using etaps 2016 software so before starting uh, let me give you some introduction about me and some introduction about this video so myself abudan sheikh from shiliguri west bengal i am pursuing my bachelor of technology in the shurendra institute of engineering in the department of civil engineering so in this video i will be discuss about the design and analysis of a and the seismic analysis of a 23rd story rc building using the most famous software taps 2016 and this video is basically created for the purpose of my project titled as seismic design project assignment for skyfi labs online course and the disclaimer is the, this video is not about uh, any commercial purpose it is only created for the educational purpose only so In this video, I take some I take some uh, references as obviously the ETF 6 2016 software, then the Indian Standard 456 2000, which is the practice code for plain and reinforced cement concrete design, and the third one is IS 1893 2002, which is the uh, design code of Sismic. Mm. The next, uh, so before starting, let me give you some uh, road map of this video. So first of all we understand the architectural plan then we create the grid line after that we define the material property after that we define the sections of the structure as beam uh, columns and the slabs after that we define load patterns uh, three load patterns is here so dead load live load and the seismic load and then we uh, draw the sections that we have defined earlier after that we assign the load on the rcc elements uh, and the slabs on the beams columns and after that we run the model analysis after that we design the model uh, and then we run the design checks as per indian standard 456 2000 then we start the detailing In this um, video, the structures, uh, the structure has a varying uh, architectural plan. If we see over here, the uh, st from story one to eighteen, yes. If we see over here, the plan uh, from story one to eighteen is something like this, and from story nine to fourteen is something like this. Then the story fifteen to nineteen, like this, and then the story twenty to twenty three, like this. and uh, so in this uh, structure the dead load is constant for every structure uh, every floor sorry for every floor but the live load is varies from floor to floor on the story number 1 to 8 the live load intensity is 5 km per meter square on the story number 9 to 14 the live load intensity is 4.5 km per meter square in the story 15 to 19 the live load intensity is 4 km per meter square and in the story number 20 to 23 the live load intensity is 3.5 km per meter square and the other loadings such as cladding uh, the load is 0.2 km per meter it is a udl load over the uh, over the external walls so we will use the auto cladding options on the software and we will put the um, values or the we will put the load of cladding uh, manually and the other information is about the story height is floor to floor height is 3 meter Section specifications we have a uh, three sections available for beams we have a uh, three sections available for columns and for slab we have to use the 150 mm thickness slab on the beams we have 500 by 300 sections we have uh, and 550 by 350 600 by 400 uh, for the column it is 500 by 500 550 by 550 600 by 600 So, and the all dimensions are in millimeter, and in the software we will use the auto select option or auto select property, uh, such as uh, so that the software uh, can suitably decide the sections which is required against the lateral load. The material specifications is available. Materials are M40 grade of concrete. So the 40 is the characteristic strength. We all know that about. Mm, the steel the re main reinforcement property is hysd 500 red 
and for the confinement bars or the stirrups the mild 250 grit reinforcement will be used uh, in this seismic analysis we will use the time history method and the data which we will use in this uh, structure to analyze to design the structure uh, as per the Vuj earthquake 2001, uh, 2001 which is situated in the Vuj Gujarat Okay, so let's go to the software. So, at first we have to define the materials and the sections. So, for defining the materials and sections, go to define menu and click the material properties. Then over here I have added uh, M40 grade of concrete. I have added the HYSD 500. I have add, uh, added the mile 250 bars uh, properties. And press OK. Uh, in this mo uh, in this structures or in this uh, building structures i have uh, used the three beam sections and three column sections as i have uh, discussed earlier so let me show you that uh, the frame sections i have used a uh, beam of 500 by 300 uh, i have used the beam another section is 550 into 350 another section is 600 by 400 i have used the beam auto select list we can see over here also yes the auto select list is contains the three uh, beam sections 500 300 550 by 350 and the 600 by 600 600 by 400 side and the auto select type design type properties concrete right And I have selected the columns as 500, 500 by 550 by 550, 600 by 600. And I have also created a column auto select list. You can see over here. Mm. Yes, on the auto select list contains the column section, the various column sections. After that, I have mm, created the load patterns so before creating the load patterns I have uh, drawn this uh, beam sections or uh, the, these columns of this uh, structures these slabs I have drawn just go to the uh, to draw just go to the draw menu over here you can see the draw beam column brace object you can see the quick draw beams or quick draw columns and uh, over here to draw the slabs go to the draw floor wall objects and over here the quick draw uh, floor walls is available you can use uh, from here also here is the quick draw commands for columns here is the quick draw commands for uh, secondary beams here is the quick draw commands for primary beams the main beams and it is available for slabs so now let's define the load patterns go to define menu and here is the load patterns click over here now just add the loads uh, seismic type is obviously seismic the auto lateral load code will be as indian standard 1893 2000 and press the add new load uh, button uh, over here we have to modify the lateral load so suppose i i'm using uh, i'm assuming that the earthquake is uh, coming from the x directions from the x directions so that's why i'm just deselect it deselecting it and yes as per the six uh, seismic zone factor we have to refer the indian standard 1893 so over here we have to select the city uh, a map is available on the page number five So suppose I'm assuming that the building is constructed or will be constructed on the Bangalore city. So the Bangalore city will falls on the blue zone. So the blue zone is zone 2 and for the zoning value we have to refer to table number um, 2. Yes, over here the seismic zone, seismic zone is 2 and for the uh, seismic zone 2 the Z value is 0 0.10. So select the 0.1 over here and for site type just as assu I'm assuming that the uh, soil type is 2 and the importance factor 
for the importance factor i have to refer again the indian standard importance factor is also given over here yes so on the page number uh, 18 of indian standard 1893 the table 6 it gives us the result for importance factor so for importance important services and the community buildings such as hospitals schools and uh, the telephone exchange or uh, television stations it is the same the value is 1.5 for the uh, other buildings it is 1.0 so i'm just taking the value of 1.0 and i'm just putting it over here 1.0 and for the response reduction factor just go to the indian standard and go to the table number 7 yes on the page 23 of indian standard 1893 over here for uh, omrf or the ordinary rc moment resting uh, frame the response reduction factor is 3.0 just i'm assuming that the structure is omrf so the response reduction the or the r value is 3.0 just put it on the software to see and just press the ok button and again the press the ok button after defining the load patterns, we have to define the functions as time history as we are uh, doing this project on the, uh, as per the time history method. So just go to define and go to the functions and over here the time history is available. Now select the choose function type or to add from, from file and add a new file function and add a new function. Now give a name a suitable name suppose i'm giving it time history and we have to select the data file i have downloaded from internet this data file so just clicking over here and just open it select the fixed format uh, on the format type now the file obviously not only filled with the data obviously some information is also uh, written or given over the file so we have to skip the header lines suppose like is the data the data the main data is starts from over here and here the one two three four five six seven eight nine nine header line we have to just skip after that the uh, analysis for analysis the value will start from here we can also uh, see over here that the Vooch earthquake of January 26th 2001 at the time in the standard as per magnitude was 7.0 MB and the and 7.6 ms latitude longitude is also given the stations ahmedabad, uh, uh, ahmedabad stations uh, every data is given the accelerogram uh, band pass filtered between 0 0.07 hertz to and uh, 27.0 hertz the initial velocity is also given the initial displacement also is also given peak accelerations is also given every data is given over here so we have to just skip the first nine lines as the main uh, data is starts from the uh, tenth line right so just type 9 as a header lines to skip uh, number of points per line just select as 1 just wait a while yes just type it as 1 everything is set uh, now just hit the ok button you can see on the function list the bridge earthquake time history data is also added now hit the ok button again now uh, go to load cases 
and add new cases and give it a suitable name suppose I am giving it as time history and load cases time will be obviously the time history and we have to add the loads for here so add the load select it as accelerations function as bridge earthquake that just to be added uh, for a scale factor for scale factor use this equations as i g 2 r so importance fact importance factor uh, g as acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational acceleration and r is the response reduction factors so the value yes the value for importance factor was 1 and the gravitational uh, acceleration value is 9801 and the response reduction factor was 3 right so divide it to multiply 3 it gives the result something equal to 1633.5 uh, so the scale factor is 1633.5 right so put the value on the software is the value 1633.5 and check the model damping as obviously it should be 0.05 percent for this machine for this structures it may vary for other structures and press the ok button and press the ok button again now we have to uh, use load combinations as per indian standard uh, 456 or the load combination for uh, earthquake uh, is also given on the indian standard 1893 so go to define menu and over here the load combinations is given so the just if it is not given uh, just add a default design codes and use the composite beam design sorry I use the concrete frame design and press the ok button it will give the suitable uh, load combinations as I have uh, used the wind code but I will not run it that's why the 14 load cases is given over here otherwise it will give us the 8 load cases and press the ok button let's uh, set the load cases to run to set the load cases to run we have to go the on the analyze menu and over here set load cases to run just click over here now as we are doing the seismic analysis so the dead load so for dead load live load and weed load just check it to do not run so set it to do not run okay all done and the seismic load in actions run yes the time history in action run yes now we can run from here also otherwise we can uh, run from here also otherwise we can use the sh uh, shortcut key as f5 so just run the model click over here you can see the software is saving the models uh, it's ready to uh, run analysis and software will initiate the uh, analysis you can see the analysis has been completed we can uh, see the animations of the seismic load we can just uh, start the animation from here so let me just have the extruded view i'm not interested to start the animation in extruded view so to see the animations just click over here start animation the software is just processing the animation frames wait for a while it depends upon the configuration of the uh, PC or the laptop mm. so wait for a while you can see the progression bar over here yes uh, we can see the animations 
we can increase the speed of the animations just by clicking in this arrows it will increase the animations speed we can decrease over here just clicking over the arrow or just we can use the this uh, um, buttons or the scroll bar also right? uh, let's stop the animations we can check the analysis uh, result also so for uh, checking the analysis report we can uh, click on the display over here we can see the four stress diagram just click over here for the analysis result of beams and columns just click over here we can see the uh, various types of uh, loads over here on the case the seismic and time history we can see the mod mode over here so only one mode is selected for this uh, design and we can see the uh, shear 2 2 values we can see the moment 3 3 this is the to just see the value or uh, just check the value we can uh, select the shear 2 2 or 3 3 just click apply it will show the values we can see over from here also or uh, for detailed value just click right click over here on the uh, beam or the, or the columns it will show you the detailed value so, so it is the diagram for beam b20 or uh, the story number 23 mm. you can see the load cases you can see the mode over here for load cases the major axis and the binary axis and the axial load is also given we can see from uh, these diagrams we can use the marker to locate the point we can see the value shear v2 value from here we can see the moment we can see the deflections over here if we want to see uh, the values at uh, any uh, distance just we can uh, put the distance over here suppose i want to see the value at 3 meter i'm just putting the value of 3 and just press the enter button it will show you the value for the 3 meter from the left end the value is 2.3378 km something and the moment is also given as minus 0.0069 km deflections is also given mm. you can also see the results for the columns just right click over here we can see the equivalent loads over here we can see the shear value we can see the uh, moment values to see the values for uh, slabs just go to the display menu forces and uh, forces and stress diagrams select the shear stresses or we can uh, just select these icons also we can see the icon is similar for this and for frames the icon is similar so just press over here and select the load cases from here select the modes and uh, select any component select the component types suppose i want to see the component f22 and click apply button it will show you the uh, values for the F22 and the shale forces or in the stresses. Yes, uh, here it is a indicator to indicate the uh, magnitude of the forces or the stresses. So the color is also given over here. We can check the um, displacement or the go to the combined story response plots. We can see the displacement from here. We can see the displacement graph for story response. We can see the drift. We can see the shear value. We can see the what tuning value. The story height or the story is also mentioned over here. Accelerations is also uh, mentioned over here at the unit of millimeter per second square. To see this, just uh, before selecting uh, the time history, load cases time history, and uh, direction is x as we have only selected the x directions. Uh, for graph, we can see the displacement or the absolute accelerations. To see the uh, animations, just click over here and check the animation box. Uh, 
software will animate the graph report yes we can see the we can use this bar to first the anim uh, to uh, first the animation you can see the drift graph is changing you can see the displacement graph we can check the shear graphs from here also lower tuning graph is also here the input functions that we inputted already and uh, the time history graph is here and it's auditing every point and uh, with respect to the every point it gives us the result against the displacement drift shear and over tuning so the uh, red color lines or the red color is indicating the maximum value you can see the legends for the green it is showing the minimum value and the blue line is showing the step so load step you can see the frame is changing so the step is also changing for that we can also uh, display the plot functions the graph that on the or the data that we have uh, inserted in this software against the graph the uh, time versus base graph is given or uh, it's showing us the results of the graph after uh, checking all the analysis data let's design the uh, structure to design the structure just go to design menu and select the concrete frame design and just view the references uh, the re preferences is obviously for this structure it is uh, fitted to india standard 456-2000 to design just go the design menu and select the concrete frame design and just start the design check or uh, you can start the uh, shift plus f6 uh, command from your keyboard also otherwise we can use this drop down menu from here we can use the start design check just click over here it will start the design checks uh, as we have selected the auto select property list for beams and columns the software will select the suitable sections for this uh, for the beams and columns as per the indian standard uh, sorry uh, as per uh, against this load or against this lateral load so we can see the uh, optimizing the concrete the optimization for concrete auto select property for beam has been initiated after that uh, the software will initiate the uh, uh, optimizations for the concrete auto select property for the columns after that the uh, software will initiate the checks for beams and then it will initiate the uh, checks for columns so let's wait for a moment until the uh, check has completed you can see the design check has been completed and the software gives us the longitudinal reinforcement values over here uh, we can to, uh, see the values we can zoom on the 3d tab or 3d windows otherwise we can just right click on the selected beam or in the beams or the, or the selected columns uh, over here we can see the shear steel is area of shear steel is given in square millimeter uh, the station or the location is given the top steel is given the bottom steel is also given uh, we can see the summary of this uh, beam design yes this is the summary report is also given you can see the flexural details from here we can see the shear details uh, envelope details and the summary we can see the main reinforcement area yes over here the main reinforcement top 
reinforcement required reaper is 455 and the bottom required reinforcement is 455 square millimeter and for shear reinforcement uh, it is uh, for shear it is uh, 552 or 552 for millimeter square area for meter length if you want to see the value for uh, the area for the columns the select and right click over here you can see the summary report you can see the uh, column section 600 by 600 the axial force the minimum movement the additional movements the initial movement the length everything is given We can see the uh, minor shear reinforcement value. We can see the major shear reinforcement value. We can see the longitudinal reinforcement, which is the main reinforcement. Uh, station is also given over here. Uh, to start detailing, just check all member past from here verify all members passed otherwise we can also select it from here also verify all members passed it will show you that all concrete frames passed with the design check press the check button uh, ok buttons and for detailing just go to the detailing and start detailing as i have uh, uh, analyzed this building and i have designed this building for wind load also that's why it asking the permission to uh, override the previous results or not. I'm just clicking the yes. You can see the processing sheet beams. Detailing is in progress. You can see the progress bar over here. Software has initiated the detailing, pro uh, detailing programs for this structure. Yes, you can see the top floor slab or the RCC detailing for the slab on the top floor. Uh, story number 23. See the floor framing plan, story 23 at elevations of 69 meter. You can see a tag is used for the beams. You can see the section is also created. Uh, just go to the drawing sheets and go to general notes and typical concrete beam elevation. Just double click over here. It will show you the cross sectional elevation and the cross sectional plans of the uh, beam and columns. We can just zoom over here on the sheets. You can see the confining zone, you can see the longitude and the uh, confinement bars also. So we can see the um, various beams are selected as we have selected the auto select property. That's why the uh, software uses the suitable beams for the suitable uh, sections you see the beam sections one beam section two we can see over here the main reinforcement you can see the confining jo uh, confinement bars you can see the uh, concrete column typical elevations from here here is a column typical elevations is also given here the column sections is also given you can see the um, major longitudinal reinforcement you can see the confinement bars the confining zone is also visible on the um, beam cross-sectional elevations 
where you can see the floor framing for 23 uh, story for 19 story suppose like for story 8 it's also given for story 8 let's see the floor framing for story number 14 at elevation of 42 meter the floor framing for the story number 8 at elevations of 24 meter we can see the concrete beam schedules against seismic load we can see the beam id we can see the span number we can see the span length see the sections Three hundred by five hundred. Nice one selected. You can see the longitudinal bars. There's a concrete beam rebar table. You can also see the um, concrete beam rebar table two. See the concrete uh, three. You can see the um, column layout from here. It is also given the column reinforcement. You can see the column tags. CC4, CC3, CC8, 7 and the center to center distance. We can also generate the reports, the project report from here. To generate the project report, just go to the report tab and select the project report and double click over here. The software will start generating the project report. see the progression of the generating uh, progression of the generation of report is initiated we can see the generation of various chapter is initiated uh, chapter 2 is, is assignments and chapter 3 is loads three chapters or uh, seven chapters has been completed we can see the generation of project report has been completed to see just click on the plus symbol here uh, here is a project report of the model file of 23rd story rc building to see the story data details just click over here we can see the story data details the height of the story we can see the elevations uh, we can see the master story we can see the um, story names you can see the property details from here there is a property details material details uh, frame sections is also given various frame sections if we zoom over here you can see The different kinds of beam sections is also given different kinds of uh, column sections is also given the beam auto select list is also given uh, column auto select list here's the shell sections the slab thickness is 150 millimeter material is m40 element type is shell 3 uh, for in and for the assignments we can just click over here just, um, we can see the assignments joint assignments can see mm, for load just click over here load patterns you can see the dead load live load wind load but we have not uh, take the wind load in considerations seismic load as per Indian standard 1893 2002 you can see the seismic load data you can see the zone factor 1 response reduction factor 1 importance factor 1 and the period used the time period is 2.076 uh, the VV which is the base shear is also given mm. the time history function is also given with the time history data is also given for the for the Vuj art, uh, as per Vuj earthquake time history data time seconds the values 
everything is given on the project report you can see the load cases is the load cases you can see the load combinations scale factors you can see the combinations dead load live load 1.5 seismic you can see the base reactions see the reactions for seismic 393.75 as a negative value mm, for time history the value is also given for fx for fi for fz is zero as we are not taking considering the uh, dead load and live load that's why the there is no gravitation load that's why the reactions against the gravitation loads that means fz component is zero uh, the story results against the story drift is also given the analysis result is also given over here the beam uh, base reactions everything is given here uh, about the design data is also given just double click you can see the concrete frame designs for story 2 labels is also given unique id design types concrete design section program determined everything is given over here you can see the summary report just double click on the summary report it will show you the summary report also so the software starts generating the uh, summary report just wait you can see the summary report is also generated so the loads patterns is double click over here load patterns is given load cases is given the story results drift story forces is also given over here uh, the excel forces given the bx by values are given model results is also given and we can also export it to the word document format and we can also print it out from here so thank you for watching this video uh, on the next video i think i will be with uh, some foundation design using the safe software so till now bye bye